Hi, it's Kurt here from City, and uh, we are uh, continuing our series on First Thessalonians. I think I have a study today that I'm pretty excited about it. We made it to chapter two, and now uh, we're we're here to talk today about kind of a a touchy subject. I think it's a touchy subject anyway. People get upset about what we're about to talk about. It doesn't bother me, but for some of you, it may really bother you. And the, the uh, title is, even if you're opposed, keep telling the story of Jesus. You know, we think we've been hurt by our, for, for our faith. You know, some people get hurt in churches. Some people get hurt by other people, whatever. And some people think that's the time to kind of be quiet, fade into the background a bit. And Paul reminds the Thessalonians that he and his pals didn't do that at all. You know, Paul and Silas were beat pretty badly. And that happened not only in Thessalonica, but in other places. And they were beaten, you know, almost death several times. Uh, and that happened in Philippi. That happened in other places. You know, that's the Philippian jailer and all that stuff. That all happened in Philippi. They're beaten up and thrown into jail and kind of kicked out of town. You know how badly they were treated. We were treated at Philippi just before we came to you and how much we suffered there. Yet God gave us the courage to declare his good news to you boldly in spite of great opposition. So you can see we were not preaching with any deceit or impure motives or trickery. You see, even when somebody says, hey, I don't want to hear you talk. I don't want to hear you. Get out of here. I hate you. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Get the courage from Jesus to keep on declaring his good news. Don't get tricky. You don't have to have any tricks. Nobody needs any tricks to tell Jesus the story. But don't get silent. Just tell Jesus' his message. Do it with your, with your actions, do it with your words, do it with your body, do it with everything. Be bold. And you can do that even when you get hurt. Passage this week is First Thessalonians 3.5, a little bit about it. That's why I'm at the very long that with your faith was still strong. I was afraid the tempter had gotten the best of you and that our work had been useless. You see, he heard things and he did not hear enough from them and he wanted to know did you fall away sometimes when you're hurt in the faith i mean i know people and you know people too who've been hurt by churches some church did this to them or did that to them they say and and it may be true but that's not i don't think a good reason to go, well, I'm not going to follow Jesus. I'm not going to talk about Jesus anymore. I'm just kind of going to be the silent Christian person. I don't think those exist. And um, and I bet you don't either. And uh, so just keep telling Jesus the story. Maybe you do it with your, with your actions, but maybe you do it with your mouth. Do both. Father, help us to be bold. Help us to tell your message even when it hurts us, because that's hard. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, have a great Thursday, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.